we can all appreciate a Christmas candle, right? I'm not gonna ramble today. They're beautiful and they come in their own little glass jar. I'm so impatient, I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with the smile as quirky as mine. Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for today's video. Reason being is one, Shot Cara, it's B&M. And two, it's a gift guide. I have got so many cute gifts to show with you all today. P.S. Let me just light my candle. How cute is this? My friend bought it me for my birthday. Don't know where it is. But I thought, not decorated for Christmas yet, but we can all appreciate a Christmas candle, right? I'm just going to show you all the goods that I picked up. I've got my receipt to hand somewhere, yeah, under there. And I've got so many cute bits for him, for her, for grandma, for granddad, for your sister. Most importantly, probably one of the biggest ones for your children, for your grandchildren, for your nieces, for your nephews. I've got stocking fillers. I've got gifts that don't cost the absolute earth, that are really good value that I thought. So let's get in with the haul. First things first, I'm going to go in with the biggies. I will tell you the price of most things. However, if I don't know what the price is, I'll pop it in the description box or I'll pop it on the screen. I'm not going to keep sifting through my receipt because when I watch people do that, I'm so impatient. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Thirdly, 100 million things today. Make yourself a nice hot drink. Or if you're anything like me, lukewarm, because it's took me about six hours to set this little spot up away from the children so they can't see what I've got because... Because a lot of the stuff here is for them for Christmas. They're downstairs with Daddy because I couldn't film this in the week because I was dying of the plague. <sighs> Calm down, Chrissy. Right, first things first, this is one of my favourites, hence why I'm showing you it. It's a candy floss maker, £20. Heat and eat candy floss maker makes candy floss in minutes. And how excited is she going to be to have this? This is something we always wanted as a kid. My mum would never let us, or my mum wouldn't anyway. I don't blame her. It's going to be absolute carnage, but I know it's going to go down well. And it's the cheapest I've found one in a while. So £20 I picked that up. Secondly, this is kind of, you could class this as a stocking filler. It depends what your budget is for stocking fillers. I'd probably class this as a main present because it's quite big. It's a chocolate sundae set. It comes with the it's glass, by the way, sundae ice cream. A glass sundae ice cream cone, which I think is beautiful and it'd be reused. That's what I like about it. It comes with the Nutella, the sprinkles and the marshmallows. And I presume you just add the ice cream. And then I also love the spoon that it comes with as well, which says never settle for one scoop. And this was £5. I don't think that was bad at all, considering that it's not disposable. You can reuse the glass afterwards. So I picked that up again for my six-year-old. Okay, say you've got that uncle, if you buy for your uncle, and you're like, oh, I don't know what to get him, or your partner, or granddad. If they're not anything chilly, it's always a bit of fun, isn't it, to get them some chilli chocolate. So I've seen this, this isn't chilli chocolate, but this is make your own hot sauce for £5. However, how nice is the glass? I don't think you can see, if not I'll upload a separate clip. It's a skull glass and I thought it was really, really nice. They could put like spirits in this when it's done with, or it could be an ornament. And yeah, it's skull face glass bottle, vinegar, dried chilli and seasoning mix. And how will, how hot will you go? And I didn't think that was bad for £5. If your budget is around that, I think that's an overall good present because even if they don't appreciate the chilli sauce or it goes horribly wrong, they have got a cute container to reuse after, which is made out of glass again. Next item, I'm whizzing through these because I just don't want to ramble today and I'm scared that the kids are going to come upstairs. So, this is a good present for me <laughs> if I was to buy a present for me, from me to... If I was to buy a present to me from me, it'd be this. This is the Barista Coffee House Coffee Syrup Collection. It comes in a four pack. You get a vanilla flavour, hazelnut, toffee and caramel syrups for your coffee. Three pound is a bargain. That's the cheapest I've found it in general, even if you were to buy one on its own. They're normally around, I don't know, it can be up to three pound, can't it, in Tesco's. So yeah, picked that up for three pounds. I know just the person who I'm getting that for, but 
yeah i love that and i think it looks more expensive you could even buy them a really cute mug and their favorite coffee and pop it all in a hamper that's what i love to do with my gifts at christmas if it's if it's quite cheap i like to add a few little extra bits to it to make it bigger and yeah next one i just thought you know they had a few other styles as well i'll insert a clip but this is vanilla flavor fudge three pounds and how cute is this little tin it's gorgeous i just thought it'd be great for a nan grandma a neighbor for three pounds you can't really go wrong so i picked that up and then if you're a hot chocolate lover like me i couldn't resist this for four pounds it's a beautiful mug that comes in the jumper like we're matching today luxury mini marshmallows a little hot chocolate sachet and a cute little whisk i thought that was really good buy for four pounds so i've included that in today's gift guide and then what i thought i'm not going to say who these are for because obviously it'll make it a bit too obvious if my friends or family are watching i think this and this together for nine pounds maybe with some chocolate coins which i have also got this is a candle look how cute these matchsticks are they're beautiful and they come in their own little glass jar so i think that would be a lovely present for somebody with some chocolate coins or their favorite chocolate wrap it all together put it in a beautiful box packaging is everything as well i'm going to do a video on that because i absolutely love making my packaging a little bit extra because i just think it's so nice i don't necessarily do it for the kids but i do do it for adults my partner etc and then talking of partners i think this is a really good gift £9.99 for a deluxe men's grooming kit so it comes with the I don't know how to pronounce these a contour shaver and pop-up trimmer a sideburn and moustache trimmer a nose and ear trimmer and hair clippers I just think that's not bad going is it for £10 and also if you're doing a secret Santa at work we're not doing it this year because I don't work in an office I don't mean anymore so I don't really know how it would work I always work from home but we used to do £10 as a budget so say if I've got someone in the office that has a beard, but I didn't really know him too well, that'd be a perfect secret Santa gift as well, because it's bang on £10. Okay, and then this one is a little bit of a game. You can class this as a stocking filler again. But I only really class stocking filler gifts less than £5. That's just how I do. And this was £10. This was quite expensive, but we bought this last year. My mum bought it for the girls. It's a best took a trial challenge. So if you've got an I'm a celebrity fan, this could be for kids, but it could also be for adults. It's gruesome, don't get me wrong, because you get mealworms with it, crickets, and then you've got like sweets up here. It depends which one you land on, is which one you have to eat. Definitely not my cup of tea, but it really it was a laugh last year at Christmas. So I wanted to include that because it's something that I probably wouldn't have bought, but because someone else bought it, it was actually good fun. And what is Christmas without family games? Like, we love a family game at Christmas. And then on to the little... Oh, the last gift that I bought. And this... Like, I'm trying to cover it. You won't believe how cheap this was. This was £15. I don't know why I'm whispering it. £15. I think that is a bargain for a popcorn maker. So I, at the moment, have an integrated microwave oven. And it doesn't spin. So you know the popcorn that you get in the bags that pops open? It just burns. If you have a built-in microwave oven, you'll feel my pain. How fun is this going to be? And all you need to use is the kernels. So essentially, it's going to be cheaper in the long run. The kids are going to love it for sleepovers, weekends, movie nights. And what I do love about it as well is it's not massive. So it wouldn't take up loads of space in your cupboard. I mean, the box isn't that big. So yeah, love that. I'm so excited for that. I'm going to give this one to Lily. And I'm going to give the candy floss maker to lola and on christmas they're just going to be ecstatic aren't they and then on to my little stocking fillets that i got from bm i've popped them all in this plastic container because i've got loads so i'm just going to whiz through them oh quickly just going to show you how beautiful are these ribbons oh where's the other one there were three for five pounds but i ended up getting four so i don't really understand that and i think they're two pounds each how beautiful so this one says a little something for you and i'm not being funny it doesn't have to be just at christmas i don't know if it's going to focus to be honest it's probably not let's have a look is it are you going to focus 
Probably not. No. That was as a little something for you. And this one, you're my favourite. I love that. I'm definitely going to put that in my mum's gift this year. I don't think it's focusing. Why are you not focusing? So, yeah, pick that up. And then... Don't know why it's not focusing. And then I've got Merry Christmas. Yeah, two Merry Christmas ones, which is like a goldy, metallic -y colour. And these ones are pink and gold. Shock horror, you don't even know what my theme is this year. So, yeah, pick those up. I just want to show you, they're not even part of the gift guide, but technically they are. Random Christmas decoration, because it was £1.50, and it's beautiful. <laughs> and two baubles, £2.50. I've just been to a garden centre today, and baubles were so much more expensive and they didn't look as luxury as this how beautiful are they for £2.50 right I'm going to whiz through these stocking fillers and show you what I got chocolate coins because it's Christmas ever Christmas without a chocolate coin I don't think it is always get these to put in the girl's silly stocking I technically eat them because they've got so much of Christmas they're not bothered about them so I end up eating them these were a little bit expensive I'll pop the note on screen However, we always do like a North Pole style Christmas breakfast, whether that's on Christmas or whether that's a few days before. Sometimes do it on Lola's birthday morning because it's a week before. So these are little Nutellas. They're so sweet. Yes, I could just buy a big Nutella, but how cute are they? I'm just a sucker for miniature sizes of things. So I picked them up because it's Christmas. Lola would be happy to just have that for Christmas, if I'm being honest. She got her own little mini Nutellas. And I told her she could have one every day. She would be besotted. And then bath bombs, because all children love bath bombs, don't they? So I picked up these donut tray ones. And they were £4. And then I picked up these Super Mario ones. I can't remember the price to hand, so I'll pop a note on screen. And these are great, because sometimes it's harder to buy boys' stocking fillers, isn't it? Than it is for girls. And equally, if your friend's got a little friend and you want to get them a little present for Christmas, this is a good one to put with some chocolate just make it into a little hamper i love doing little hampers just think one it's more thoughtful and two it can be as cheap or as expensive as you want so i pick that up oh i've got one actual present i forgot to bring upstairs so i'm gonna go and grab it in a minute and i'll leave them to till the end and then i got a hot dog giant gummy i thought i bought two of these one for each of the girls but it seems to have gone walkabouts so yeah, pick that up because it's pretty cool. It's good to put in a stocking filler, isn't it? To wrap it up, one pound, you can't really go wrong. And kids love things like this. I don't know why, they just do. Okay, these, because these are something I'd buy for the kids anyway. They're really cute. If you know when it's absolutely freezing and you walk into school, we drive to school, but even when you just walk into the shop, walking anywhere outside, they're great, aren't they? They came in all different designs, but I picked up this one. And I picked up this rainbow one. And they're just great to pop in their pockets. I might even let Lola take one of these into school. I feel like she's living her best life. Slime. I've said it before, but my youngest, four-year-old, she loves slime. £2.50. This slime doesn't ruin your life. This slime's not too bad to clean up. I bought quite an expensive slime the other day, and it was a nightmare. This, she has it at her mama's house, and it's probably still going strong. So yeah, if your kids like slime and you don't want it to damage everywhere, don't get me wrong, if this got on the carpet, I don't know what would happen. But I do highly recommend the B&M slime. This particular one isn't too bad. For £2.50, if it ends up in the bin after a day or two, you don't mind too much, do you? And then, this has come off. I bought two of these. I bought two of quite a lot because obviously, I've, as you know, or if you don't know, I have two daughters. So this is a gingerbread man mix and cutter kit. This is actually going to go in their Christmas Eve box this year because it's something really cute to do on the run-up for Christmas and maybe we can leave Santa some gingerbread men out this year with his milk or his pint of beer that he had last year. <laughs> and these were so, so cheap. I can't remember to hand how much they were again. I think they are £1.50 or £2.50, but I'll pop a note on screen for you. And obviously you get all the ingredients to make gingerbread men. So you get gingerbread cookie mix, candy decorations and icing, gingerbread shaped metal cutter. And like I said, you can use the metal cutter again. So I didn't think that was too bad. Chocolate. 
They did all the letters, but I got a L for Lola and a L for Lily. And these were £2 each, which I thought was really, really reasonable. Love being on for stocking fillers. Ah, here it is. Got a milkshake one as well as the hot dog one. Yeah, as I was saying, I think B&M's really good for stocking fillers. Really, really cheap. And personally, sorry Pound Shop if you're ever watching, I think they're better than Pound Shop. Especially things like this. You can't really go wrong. But I will have a little browse in Pound Shop, so don't hold me to that. Because I haven't really looked at their Christmas stocking fillers as such. And then these stress relievers. My children love things like this. Lily, if you know, you know, she's four. She has every single squishy that they've ever invented in the whole entire world. So I thought these were really cute. Hot dog stress reliever, £2.50. For when you've had a woof day. <laughs> and then a bear hug stress reliever. A huggable way to relieve the day. Just thought they were really sweet. And to be honest, when I went into B&M with Lola, she did pick this up. I love that, don't you? Oh, my battery's going to die. And then, last but not least, you can't go wrong with a little bit of craft bits at Christmas. I don't know about you. I've bought this before, so I can vouch that it's amazing. The fact that you get all of the colouring bits with it. These, however, are these glittery, I don't know what you call them, glues. They're awful, so take them out. I wouldn't recommend them. But the rest of it are really good. The pens are really good. You get the crayon. It spins. It's 7 99 It's great to put on your tabletop. If your children love to colour, I really, really do recommend this. This kept us going throughout the pandemic, lockdown, rainy days. My children do love colouring though. So for 7 99 that would make a perfect gift. You've got your grandchildren that come around your house and you want something for when they come over. Or if you've got your own children and you want to buy them something because you're sick of pens being everywhere, it's great because it organises everything into sections and then as these run out i've replaced them so i've put like rulers in the middle um if they're like stickers you can put stickers in one bit and they just love it whenever the children my friends children come around as well they all gravitate to this so yeah highly recommend that and then secondly these paint sticks i cannot recommend these enough they do also sell them on amazon but i always get mine from pound um pound Man, from b&m four pound 99 a pack these are the, what I call primary colours and these are the more metallic -y ones they say that you can I wish I could get one out but you could literally paint on your hands and it rubs off they're really mess free they're amazing they remind me of like little prick sticks that you turn up and then the kids can paint with them and they really are what they say on the tin they're mess free painting they're fab they're great for toddlers they're great for older children they're, they're just great buy them £4.99 on they're an amazing stock at stocking villa not getting commission a complete pinky promise you i'm not getting commission for this i just rave about things that i love that's why i've included quite a lot of things in here that i've already bought and that brings me to the end of this little haul i didn't go for big toy items because i think every child's different and their christmas list will be different i've gone for more neutral neutral i've gone for more run-of-the-mill stuff that I think all children will like, all parents will like, all grandparents will like. You just can't really go wrong. So, yeah, I hope you like this haul. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name's Chrissy. I'm a mum of two. I like to post all things haul, lifestyle, motherhood-related content. So if, you're in that in so if you're into that type of thing, then check out my other videos. Hit that subscribe button. Become part of this Real Mums Club together. We have a lush community here. And thirdly, go and follow me over on Instagram. I post daily stories of what I get up to. Motherhood, lifestyle, a little bit of a haul, a little bit of a moan, a little bit of a rant. Love a little bit of a reel. <laughs> so yeah, go and check out my Instagram. And I think that's it. But yeah, I'm going to go and try and hide this. Hopefully all in my airing cupboard so my children don't see it. And yeah, I've got a few other gift guides and things coming up. Equally, comment down below what you'd like to see on my channel. Because it'll be interesting to see what you want and I'll do my best to try and create that for you so yeah I'm gonna go away like I said pop it all away and I'll see you guys soon much love